The Hopkinton Women's Club hosted their annual Meet the Candidates Night. This year, the event was held virtually. Right now, we'll meet the candidates from the only contested race in this year's town election, the school committee candidates. Good evening. Uh, thank you very much to the Hopkins Women's Club and to HCAM for hosting this event. And thank you to all the candidates. I'm always inspired by um, everyone who steps up to serve. So thank you for coming tonight. Um, my name is Amanda Fargiano, and I've been, I'm running for re-election to the Hopkinton School Committee. It's been both an honor and a huge responsibility to serve our high-performing district of nearly 4,000 students and about 400 educators and staff, um, and we're rated among the best in the nation and in the state. So for the past year, I served as chair, helping to steer the committee through the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic and all that that entailed. In addition, I helped lead successful contract negotiations with our superintendent and with our Hopkinton Teachers Association. To expand the support network for our school committee, I created a monthly school committee chair round table with area colleagues. Um, and it's been a great opportunity to ex ex exchange best practices and concerns and so forth. Behind the scenes, I work to model sound and effective processes for the committee, and I've invested in growing our institutional knowledge. As chair, I've also tried to be responsive to the community communications while staying true to the voice of the committee. In service to the committee, I've worked hard to maintain space for transparent discussion and debate among members and to allow for individual voices in our deliberation. As we emerge from the pandemic, the district is facing a pivotal time. We need both tactical near-term actions and strategic long-range planning to ensure responsible and efficient use of taxpayer dollars to support our growing student body and the evolving needs uh, of our first-rate education. My priorities are assessing and mitigating the pandemic impacts, continuing to improve mental health and school climate for all students, continuing to identify and eliminate conscious and unconscious bias and racism, addressing growing enrollment while strategically improving campus infrastructure, maintaining and furthering the excellence in academics, and developing budgets that are reflective of our, of our collective town and district priorities. After three years, I feel like I'm just getting started. With all that is ahead of us, I believe experience and continuity are critical, and I would be grateful for your vote on May 22nd. Good evening. My name is Jared Prey, and I'm running for a seat on the school committee. Our school system is a source of pride for all of us in Hopkinton and a reason why many of us moved to town. I'll work to keep it that way. I've lived in Hopkinton for 16 years with my wife, Jessica, and three children. Two are currently in Hopkinton schools, a kindergartner and a third grader, and our third is just over a year old and will be in the Hopkinton High School class of 2038. I actually did the math. I therefore have a strong vested interest in maintaining our excellent school system now and ensuring it remains that way for many years to come. After growing up in Massachusetts, I received my undergraduate degree from Bucknell University, a master's from Dartmouth College, and an MBA from Bentley University. I'm currently head of market access for a small rare disease drug company in Boston. This district is at an inflection point. I believe my background and experience uniquely positioned me to help the district addressed the most immediate challenges that we face, including to continue to navigate the challenges presented by COVID, along with the considerable impact that remote learning has had on all learners. I believe that the best place for our children to learn is in the classroom. With the recent and projected enrollment growth, we also must aggressively plan for future space needs. The MSBA's acceptance of Elmwood School into a period of eligibility is, is an exciting first step. Investment by the community combined with strong leadership has made this a top 10 district in Massachusetts. The next school committee must commit to maintaining the, sta the current standard of excellence in the face of financial headwinds. The attributes that have served me well throughout my career, the ability to synthesize and listen to competing opinions or data, yet move decisively, to think strategically and plan for the future, yet pivot as the situation necessitates, has prepared me for this role. My wife and I are both the children of public school teachers and both grew up going to public schools. We chose to move to Hopkinton on the strength of our schools and now with three young children, we remain heavily invested in our school system. With my background and experience, along with my own passion for excellence in the school district, I, I hope to earn your vote on May 22nd. Thank you. Thank you to HCAM and to the Hopkinton Women's Club for providing the town with this occasion. Um, I'm Meg Tyler. I've lived in Hopkinton for 16 years with my husband. We have two children. By day, I am a professor of humanities at Boston University where I teach ethics. And I also run the poetry series. Um, by night, and it's mostly been by night, I have been on the school committee for the past three years, working almost always doggedly in the company of really excellent volunteers 
administrators and educators, as well as in the company of the other town leaders. Um, I love thinking about education. That's why I'm here. I love thinking about what most benefits the individual student, no matter what their background, no matter what their interest. I think primarily as school committee members, that's what we're here to do, to think about the success and the well-being of each individual child, which is taken into our care. Um, it's also important that we support the teachers, that we support the parents, and we support the community. Um, it goes without saying that it's been a really hard year. It's been really tough on all sorts of levels. Um, but I think that by acting consistently and by persevering and continuing to support the administration, because we're still in the middle of a crisis, that, that we will forge ahead and I think things will, will come out quite well. We do have challenges ahead, as the other candidates have said. Um, we have a growing population. We need to enlarge our facilities. Um, I think it's also worth noting that we spend on average in our town $1,000 less per student than most districts in Massachusetts or, or than the average district in Massachusetts. And yet we provide them with a stellar education. So there are a lot of great things in place here. Um, I'm also very concerned with expanding and enhancing our awareness of equity and diversity. And I think that equity concerns not just people uh, of different backgrounds, but including neurodiversity too. Um, I hope that I will be witness to some developments in our hiring practices, because I think that it would be great if we could have a more diverse faculty um, to reflect our student body. Um, and, and I hope that will come with time and I will support those changes. So I'd be grateful for your vote on May 22nd and I'm very honored to be serving the town. Thank you. Don't forget the school committee town election debates will take place on Tuesday, May 4th at 7 p.m. live on HCAM.